So yesterday didn't work out exactly to plan. I had to go swap out the trencher. As you can see, I had to swap it and get a new one because the first one I had got about 50 feet and it busted the hydraulic hose. Super busy week um, here on the farm, building a farmhouse from scratch. Um, as usual, when you're building a house, uh, no one will show up for a week and then on one particular day, everybody will show up. This week's goal is going to be getting all the utilities trenches dug for the electrical contract do it and then also the water and then hopefully after today we will be able to get some hay and grass seed out and we will stop walking through all this mud and hopefully have a successful day i don't know how to drive oh well, you got it you can do it Trench it yep just like that you got it Side. Yeah. Yeah. Does it matter? Not a huge deal. You think it's gonna fit? I think so. Let's see. I'm gonna unplug the power real quick. So if we pull it just a scotch, it should drop. Hopefully it will drop down that side right there. Get right there. Which way? Towards the house. Pull it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Can you step on it? Yeah. Just like a little seat. Can you get in there and get on it? Oh, just like that, huh? Boss. It's not heavy. Like a boss. Perfect. I know the internet will explode with this, but I was one stick short on the two and a half inch conduit. So I'm gonna run three inch PVC and I'm gonna kind of use it as a slip joint to slip over top a couple feet over the two and a half inch on each side's right in the middle. And then when I tie up to the house back here, I can actually hook up the connection nice and tight and then it'll actually, I can push the slack, you know, on top of the other conduit. And while I do that, I know there's gonna be a rough edge on this inside of two and a half. So I'm gonna take my multi-tool and just see if I can um, bevel that edge out nice and smooth on both of the sides of the two and a half inch pipe where it's kind of floating on the three inch. That way the wires won't have any chance of getting chased, chafed at all. So I know that's probably not what you typically do, but we are trying to get this done. And I figured what's the worst that can happen, right? They used to direct bury all this cable anyway. So that's what, that's what the plan is.
All right, here's my helper today. Surprise guest. I'm not sure if y'all have met my dad or not, <laughs> but this is the hardest working man I know. Dad, David, say hello. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> there you go. Out here digging. Yeah, that's if this was just an inch wider, yeah. it'd be easy. Yeah, I just smoothed it out. That's what I'm, that's yeah. what I'm thinking, if I can just rake it all out. Yeah. This is all, right here is already a low spot Yeah. for the water, you know what I mean? So it's not I like I'm you. ever going to dig right here. I hate to get that trencher back in it again because we may cause more trouble. <laughs> I know. Here. That first machine I got dug about four and a half inches yeah wide yeah easily second machine I got didn't have the damn spacers on the teeth yeah so that thing only dug well this right here I mean you can see how narrow it is yeah I think that's good dad there you go I mean yeah. it's a damn a, a water hole anyway I'm never gonna yeah. dig down right here no that's good hey, it'll work it'll work we can cut across I just got as close as I can with a trencher on the um, the meter base right here because I know there's no power or any water lines already buried buried on this property because we're brand new. So I took a trencher down as close as I could and then I hand dug hand dug the rest of it to get that 90 on. So I get this 90, I had to get a 90 on the meter base pipe and then I'll make my straight run, take it back up the trench and connect it with the three inch PVC I was talking about to make that slip connection. I think will be perfect. That in. So that was a long day yesterday. We got all the trenches dug for the utilities. Uh, man, that turned out to be a lot longer than I expected. I was planning on getting it all done in one day, but it was just that trencher was so slow going because we had to go 36 inches deep for our power. So it was literally going like one inch, you know, every couple seconds you have to go back with it. And then, uh, as you guys saw, my dad stopped by and helped me out, and he's always fun to work with, always there, willing to help and, you know, hang out and do hard work. Not scared of hard work. One of the hardest workers I know. Uh, my brother stopped by as well. <clears throat> um, he checked out the property. We walked around, got a game plan together for our final grade. He'll be doing the final grade. Uh, he owns Alpharetta Grading and Hauling. Usually, most of the shirts I always wear his uh, company shirts, so supporting him as much as I can and you know I like free clothing today we are going to get the uh, power try and get the power lines ran back from the house to the well house so we, we we buried our main power going from our power pole to our house and because we only want one meter uh, on the whole property where we have to back feed our well house back on through the same trench and then that way our well house will, ha will get power again down the road when we get rid of our uh, temporary power pole so we're going to run those wires today and then we also got our well line i got a couple of these fittings here uh, the well line that i run is just a one inch uh, poly pipe from the well house we're going to go to the chicken coop put a T in there that way we can stub up a water line for down the road for the animals and the chickens and then it'll run straight to the house it'll tee off again 
to the cow pasture and then tie into our one inch pegs that's going into the house. Now for these fittings, um, these are the best ones I like to use. I've ran a lot of these before and these, um, they either come in blue plastic or the gray plastic are the cheapest. They're like $1.50 to $2 each. And then they slide right into this well pipe. The only part that's tricky is when it's super cold, they have these little clamps they want you to use and you usually double them up on here and then it has a little clamp that you can squeeze squeeze it tight and it's like a pin, uh, pinch clamp so we're gonna put these over the pipes heat them up a little bit with our propane torch just a little bit of heat and that way it'll get it to relax just a little bit so we can slide the fitting and kind of thread it down in there that is the plan for today i'm just kind of laying out all my fittings See if we make heads or tails of this. Here's um, the line I'm gonna run from my house. I'm trying to do a 40 amp uh, sub panel running back to the well house. Uh, number one, we need to power our well pump. And I think those are like 20 amps. So I'm gonna run 40 that way for our well house we can have other, you know, we can have lights, you know, we can have um, lamp heaters for the chickens and then we'll ha just have a lot more options on pulling power rather than if we just pulled well pump power so we're gonna run a 40 amp um, mini sub panel in the well house and then that'll just be a nice little like junction for our kind of animal animal garden end of the property to be able to pull pull power from when needed so this was salvaged off another job. I saved it and I think I got about 100 feet. So I'm gonna go to the house. I'm gonna tie this into my box. And then I'm gonna start pulling back and dropping this in the trench. And then hopefully we'll get pretty far and we'll see how short we are. And I have some other wire that will make up the difference. And I will just put some berry waterproof connections on them. So that is the plan. So I'm tying up the colors together, temporary. Now, I am no electrician, but I'm running a four wire system, or a three, three wire with the ground from my main box for the sub panel. So at this point, all I really need to do is extend my main wires. And right now, with these that I'm hooking up, the colors don't matter because really I have one red wire and I'm using three black wires. The only thing that really matters is when I extend the wires and get to the final destination, the two hot wires, your common and your ground are on the same wire going to the panel. So you can really use all black wires as long as because all you're doing is extending them. Well, so once you extend them, as long as we're, we're the landing out at the sub panel, as long as the wires correspond correctly to your panel, meaning your common, your power, and your ground. So I'm using these black wires because I have them for free and you guys know how much copper is right now. So we are gonna extend these temporarily. I'm gonna drop them in the hole, that way I can get my length. And I'm just gonna rough these in like this. And once I get the, um, the trench buried back up you know, a little bit, then I'll run some extra conduit right here and leave a little bit of slack up here on this end. And then I can bury my conduit and run, run the conduit in my junction box and then clean these connect, connections up right here. What are you smiling for? Good thumbnail right there, girl. <laughs> Babe, what's your favorite thing to do? I uh, dig holes. <laughs> Got my helper. <laughs> Got my helper this morning. A stronghold on this wire right here. 
so then we can pull it all the way down this trench and start laying it in the hole. Then we can start covering it up. Grabbing dude. You know what I mean? It's Jump. What do you think? Good? Mm -hmm. Does it look good? Yeah. <laughs> we finally got the trench done. It is complete. So we got the wire ran on top, on top of the conduit. I haven't buried it yet because you know I have the, the front loader on the tractor. So burying or putting the dirt back in the hole of the trench is the easy part. But I got the um, 40 amp wire running from the house. As you can see, I ran it all the way down this trench. And then my well house is right there. So what I did, I rolled up all the slack right there. That will actually go to the, the uh, well house when I rent the trencher again. So I'm just trying to pretty much get everything roughed in. The main um, objective for the week was to get the conduit ran in the ground, in the trench to the house, so the power, pump, power company can hook us up the power. So that is done. That's a check. Everything else is bonus. Um, I got the trench done, which we're about to start on now for the water line as well. So I'm gonna go over there and me and Walter are gonna start running that water line and hopefully we can get all those fittings tied up and done before it starts raining. What do you think, Walter? You gonna help me? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Come on. Come here, Walter. We gotta get this done before it rains, bro. I need your help. Hi. Okay. I do, I really do, I really, really, really do. See, we got a pipe right there. That's the T, okay? That's good. I think it looks good. Why is that with a pipe? That's our water pipe for the house, bub. House? Yeah, that, this is like literally gonna supply. This is where we're gonna get water to shower and stuff. And this makes it a little bit hot. Just like that. Like that? Right? Uh -huh. What do you need? Watch out, baby. You need this? I do need those. Uh -huh. do, you need, do you need this? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. Let me see. No, not yet. <clears throat> Just like we did before, right? Slide our two pieces on. Slide of two pieces. You gotta warm it up. Dad, you just have to stop this for a chicken. Dad, you see that? Dad, that guy is for a chicken. Yeah. You feel like. I'm sore all over, but it's done. I got all the utilities buried. Haven't covered them up yet. Um, I was about to hop on the tractor and cover them, cover them up, but you know, like I said earlier, that's the easy part. And I was like, hmm, <laughs> probably want to test the water line out before I go cover it up. So with that being said, 
I'm going to tie it in um, in the next couple days. So I pretty much just roughed the, the water pipe up right into the well house and then I got it tied into the house and I got two T's on it. One will be the future pasture line and then the other one is going to the chicken coop. So I stubbed those up and I just capped them off on the ends and then that will be a later project because this kicked my butt. So here's our meter base that's attached to the house. This two and a half inch conduit um, electrical pipe right here has the wires that run inside it from the street. That is what we just extended, but it's 250 feet this way. <laughs> so we ran everything underground, everything went smoothly. Um, and then I also ran this string inside the conduit uh, from one end to the other. That was uh, required by the power company that requested that I do that. That way when they show up, they'll, they actually have like a specialty webbing that they'll tie onto that, pull through it and it's like 2,000 pound test or something. And then they'll tie the big line to that and just pretty much rip them through all the way and they'll wire it up, set the meter and turn the power on at the street. A huge project checked off the list. Probably like one of the bigger ones that I had to do for this house build. But anyway, that sums up this week. I'm gonna go home, drink a beer, and bring my boys back up here tomorrow to help me fill in all these trenches.